Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited one of the family housing expansion projects popping up across Minneapolis. There are 84 two- and three-bedroom units open to people at or below 30 percent of the median income in Minneapolis. When it comes to housing affordability, Yellen says she expects housing inflation to moderate. But we face a very significant housing supply shortfall that has been building for a long time. And this supply crunch has led to an affordability crisis. Yellen says the federal government will provide an additional $100 million to finance affordable housing across the country. How difficult is it right now for people to get in to housing if they are among the lowest income? It is a critical shortage and it most seriously affects low income people particularly minorities. In an interview with Five Eyewitness News, the Treasury Secretary acknowledges the housing affordability crisis isn't just impacting low-income people, but also middle-income people who can't afford homes. I think a program to expand the supply of housing is really what's called for. Inflation has fallen nearly two-thirds from its recent peak, but remains over 3% above the Fed's goal of 2 percent. She says the Biden administration needs help from Congress to bring it down further, along with mortgage rates. I think what Americans are saying is that they're very disturbed by the high cost of living and the difficulty of affording things that are critical necessities, housing, child care, energy. Yellen is spending two days in Minnesota. Tomorrow, she'll be with Senator Amy Klobuchar highlighting community development funds to help the broader community. Live in the newsroom, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.